ICC Women's Associate Cricketer of the Decade. And let's give you the list of nominees. Once again, it's a strong list of candidates. Thailand very much represented here. Natakan Chantam of Thailand. Sonorin Tipo, Thailand. Chanida Suthirang, Thailand. Scotland, Catherine Bryce. Scotland, Sarah Bryce. And from the Netherlands, Stair Callis. And the winner of the ICC Women's Associate Cricketer of the Decade is Catherine Bryce of Scotland. Scotland's Catherine Bryce is the ICC Women's Associate Cricketer of the Decade. Lisa, I'll come to you first. Um, strong family name. There's Sarah in there as well. But Catherine, has, in her own right, has scored runs and she's taken wickets consistently. Yeah, if you were to, to look at the ICC qualifiers, her name is within the top five of for that tournament, the, the run scorers. Um, so she's consistent across each and every tournament uh, and that is really crucial as captain of Scotland she's good with the ball as well um, and she takes crucial wickets because uh, more often than not she opens the bowling uh, so as a leader not only is she um, leading all of her teammates but she's leading with the bat and ball and that's really crucial Tim, let's uh, put it over to you. Uh, give us an idea how difficult it is or how much of a steep challenge it is for associate cricketers in men and women's events. Well, in events, like I mentioned before, you know, associate cricket with the many layers of ICC competitions, normally meaning that uh, teams finishing the top couple will, will, will go up and those down will, will fall down the, the ladder. But connected to that is important funding and also access to tournaments and access to quality cricket. So a lot of the time cricketers uh, can literally be playing for their future uh, on behalf of their team in their country. And so for someone like Catherine Bryce, who was picked for her country at age 13 in 2011, um, you, you know, we may think a 23 year old winning player of the decade, but the fact is she's been performing for her country the entire, entire decade. It's just um, amazing. Um, so when uh, her and her sister, Sarah went to university. It was yes to, to play cricket down there, but to study sports science in Catherine's um, sense. And, and for Sarah, it was um, on the, the law side, I, I believe. And but in, in that, we saw them both be standout players in the Rachel Hay Hayhoe Flint Trophy that just completed. And both have been offered full time contracts from the, the ECB. And Catherine's going to be playing for the, the Trent Rockets. So it, in the 100, when it gets underway next year. So the, the opportunities for associates are there's a slim in tournaments, but they really need to be taken because of how important they are. Uh, and, and for a player like Catherine, who's also taken her opportunities, uh, the associate uh, BBL rookie program, spent some time with the stars down in Australia and has been skipper since 2018. So we think of some famous ca captains in the past who started their captaincy career at age 20, the likes of Graeme Smith and, and whatnot. I, I think in the future, we'll be talking about Catherine Bryce. And if we've got a player that could be in line for player of the decade of the 2020s i think uh, catherine bryce will uh, only be in her early 30s looking back so it's a, a well it's a huge for scotland to, to take both associate awards but just amazing for, for catherine bryce herself polly final a final word uh, with you on catherine bryce we've talked about captaincy at a young age you were a young captain how daunting is it to have that job yeah, it would be massively daunting, but I suppose the fact that she's been playing since she was 13, uh, when she got to 18 or 20, she would have felt like a seasoned campaigner. Um, the one thing, I mean, we haven't got to see much of, of her, um, you know, in my experiences, but I just looked at the facts and figures and wow, are they impressive for a young lady to have achieved what she has already in the game. Um, what a perfect start, both averages in the backing and the bowling 
are sublime. So you would think she's going to go from strength to strength. And, you know, I think as an associate uh, cricketer, I think the key for the teams to be performing well is always to have some good all-rounders. And Scotland very fortunate to have her. So we'll have to watch the space and see what she can do for Scotland going forward. But, forward. but uh, the start of her career has just been immaculate.